Mochi bagosh. Mochi 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 bagosh. Mochi bagosh. I love you, baby. Hey, babes, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for watching. Yes, this is what my hair looks like with no product. <laughs> I always get asked that a lot. Like, what does your hair look like with no product? This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like it's been like blown out and like round brushed. Um, this is the look. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready for girl talk. I'm gonna go put some earrings on because I feel naked. Please hold. Okay, let's do this. Let's just girl talk, get ready together. You're probably getting ready in the mornings. I feel like that's actually when I watch most YouTube videos is like when I'm doing my makeup. I like to listen to my girls do their makeup and like talk with them, <laughs> listen to them talk while I do my makeup. Just me, anyone else? If you love me and wanna support me for free, click the like button on this video. It helps me out so much in the algorithm. Please just like it, it takes half a second and it's free. Okay, <laughs> let's get into the video. <laughs> I'm gonna begin with skincare, just so you guys are aware, uh, because I just worked out and I'm sweating. Right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot, a lot of questions on uh, birth control now that I am a married lady. So many of you might already know that I have been on birth control for a couple years now. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've had a lot, a lot of issues with my period. I used to get three periods a month sometimes. It was truly just a nightmare. Uh, it was extremely debilitating and I went on birth control to regulate my period. Um, I actually, I don't regret the decision, but for my honeymoon, I, my period was going to come while I was on my honeymoon. So <laughs> I did some research and asked some friends and you can skip a period if you just simply don't take the placebo weak pill um, and you jump right into the next pack, it will skip the period, which worked. However, when then my next period came last week, it wrecked me. Like, it wrecked my skin. I had so much hormonal breakouts around my chin area. It honestly just felt like double the hormones and it, it sucked, I'm not gonna lie. So that's really not something I would recommend really ever to you unless um, it's an emergency like your honeymoon, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but other than that, I just didn't personally have a great experience doing that. You know what's interesting is that I do have a friend who has such horrible periods, she's on birth control and every single month she skips her period on the pill. Is that something you guys do? Is that something that you've ever heard of? Uh, let me know, I'd love to like open up that discussion below. Okie dokie. There are also a lot of questions on getting married. Of course, for those of you who don't know, I got married a little over a month ago. It was the best day of my life, literally the best day of my life. I just want to relive it over and over again. Um, I'm so sad it's over, but <laughs> I will say that the whole time I was planning my wedding, I just kept thinking like, dang, we really should have eloped. Like, this was such a mistake. Like, this is just so much work and for what? For one day and so much money. And like, I don't know, I really questioned if we should just run away, frankly. But I am so thankful that I didn't. Um, I totally understand if you want to elope, girl, you do you. It makes perfect sense to me. But I have to say it was the best, most special day of my entire life. Having my close family and his family come together and it was just so special and beautiful and I want to relive my wedding day every day. I can't wait for the video. So a lot of you are wondering how married life is going and it's been good. It really has. There has definitely been some challenges. Um, it's, I always want to keep it 100 with you guys. Like it's a huge adjustment having someone move into your home and living together. I have never lived with a man before Daniel. So um, it was definitely just a big, big adjustment. First and foremost, he brought more clothes than I could have ever possibly imagined. Like, girl, 
girl. I feel like guys always say like, oh, girls have so much clothes, so much shoes, so much stuff. Like, no. I think that it definitely made me a little like overwhelmed and anxious having someone move into my space. I'm well aware that it's our space now, but it was just like, you know, it was it was a bit overwhelming for me. It really was. And it, it, it and it has nothing to do with Daniel moving in wrong or incorrectly or not being respectful of my space or anything. It was just a lot of stuff coming into my house. Moving in general stresses me out. I wasn't really expecting this to stress me out because I wasn't moving, but someone was moving into my space that I've had for two years to myself. You know, bringing all of his clothes, his coffee machine, all that jazz, and it was just a little bit overwhelming for me. But, um, but we got through it and we, we, we figured it out and it was perfectly fine, but it was a little bit, it was a little bit overwhelming, frankly. You guys have also been asking about my mental health and being that last week was mental health awareness, I wanna briefly touch on this because it does kinda of tie into Daniel and I and our relationship and our marriage. We recently had a trip to Colorado. Daniel had a work trip out there and I joined him for the weekend so that we could get some hiking in and it was really, really a lovely time. Colorado is just so magical and beautiful and we loved it. Um, but I did unfortunately run out of my medication. For those of you who aren't aware, I take medication for my anxiety. It's basically a knockoff brand of Lexapro um, and it works wonders for me. I've been on it since my junior year of high school and it has, I mean, just changed my life. I've had many struggles staying on the medication, going off the medication, that's a whole other story. But basically what happened out in Colorado is I accidentally ran out of my medication. I didn't realize how few pills were left in the bottle and I ran out early on the trip. <sighs> Which was unfortunate to say the least. It was a complete and total accident, but nonetheless, it impacted me greatly. Um, when I'm not on my medication, my reactions are just elevated, you know? Let's say hypothetically Dana forgets to take out the trash. If I were to be on my medication, I would say, hey baby, don't forget to take the trash out. Whereas if I'm not on my medication, I'm much more likely to have just an overreaction, frankly, and say something along the lines of, I can't believe you never take out the trash. I really just feel so disrespected in this marriage. I don't feel like you put any effort in. Like, this is absurd. So. Those two approaches are very different, and I'm just a happier person in general when I'm on my medicine. So, so Daniel and I got into a large fight over something stupid because I overreacted. I was nitpicking, I took it to the next level because I wasn't on my medicine. And as soon as I got home, I immediately went, picked up my prescription, and I'm feeling world's better now. I, I share with you this story so that you know that my marriage isn't perfect, our relationship isn't perfect, and that's okay. Next we're gonna talk about what you really wanna talk about. I think unfortunately YouTube won't allow me to use the S word anymore, otherwise they won't allow anyone under 18 to hear this video, so I'm just gonna call it exercising. Mother, Miss Martinez, anyone related to us, please stop watching at this point. Thank you. Prior to Daniel in my life, I had no issues talking about exercising, how I was waiting for exercising, and, um, and, and sh just talking all about it. Now being with Daniel, it's a little bit different because when I'm talking about this, or when I'm talking about certain situations that we've gotten into, or whatever it may be, uh, I'm talking about his experiences, not just mine. It's our experiences now. Essentially, previously when I was talking about not exercising, never having been exercised, uh, I was discussing that just about me, but now I'm speaking for someone else and with someone else, so we kinda need to get on the same page with what we're comfortable sharing online. Um, I'm much more of an open book on topics like this, but he's really not. So, to jump in, uh, my first time, <laughs> my first time was not exactly what I anticipated. And I'll tell you why. It's not because of anything Daniel did or didn't do or, or anything like that. I was so tense, so tight, and just nervous, anxious, 
Um, I mentally had a hard time switching to, okay, now we're exercising. Does that make sense? It's like for so long, so long, you know, ex-boyfriends trying to get me to exercise with them, all that jazz, saying no, 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 and then now with Daniel, it's okay. And I think mentally that was a hard switch for me to make, if that makes sense. So I will just say that it, it definitely progresses with time and it's just so beautiful. Like I get emotional talking about it because it's such a gift, like to be able to share that with someone. I don't know why I'm crying, but you know, it's just incredible. And I'm just so thankful personally that Daniel is the only person I will ever exercise with. Like it's just so amazing. And I'm, I, I'm just, I'm very, very thankful. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I really think it's just gonna continue to grow and expand as we go through our lives together. You know, I can just imagine how, you know, trying to make babies like that whole phase is going to be a different level of special and then after having babies it's like wow you're the father to my children and i just think life is so beautiful and i just think while there are so many evils in this world there is so so much beauty as well and i'm just so so grateful and a really great tip that a lot of my girlfriends have given me and yes i know my makeup looks crazy it's gonna get better don't panic um, is to pee after exercising. And you know what, I had the funniest experience. My, I mean, really sweet. My aunt called me. <laughs> She's like the cool aunt, you know? And um, she like told me when I was younger if I ever needed to be bailed out of jail that she would bail me out she wouldn't tell my parents because she's just she's just that cool aunt anywho so she called me like the week before my wedding and was like i'm gonna give you the talk <laughs> and i was like oh god um and so she called me and she's talking about lubricants and just like everything and telling me stories and anywho it was a great bonding conversation um but <laughs> I just wanted to say, I don't know if this is way TMI, but uh, from my personal experience, we have yet to use lubricants. Uh, things have been, things have been moving and sliding and shaking just fine. That's just been my experience personally. I mean, I'm open to trying it. Like maybe that would enhance things. I don't know. I would love to know if you care to share or feel comfortable sharing um, if you personally use lubrication or not. I love that we can open up like these new conversation topics. It just thrills my soul. Now let's move on to blush. I do I just want to show you guys this blush because I am so in love, but it is a dangerous blush, okay? Very dangerous because the littlest bit goes the longest way. So this is this is from Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty line in the color Lucky. Let me just say, if you're a blushaholic like myself, I was a blushaholic long before it was cool, by the way. Anywho, um, these will last you an eternity. I mean, I can't imagine even like literally ever repurchasing this. I mean, when I show you how much color payoff you get from that alone, you're just gonna be shook, shaken, shook to the core. I mean, <laughs> like what? It's just, okay, I mean, I'm gonna have to like move some over to the other side. It's crazy, you guys, like absolutely crazy. And yeah, I mean, I love it though. Like I'm not complaining. Okay, kind of jumping back into our last topic because I'm seeing a lot of the same question. I do just want to briefly touch on it. Um, a lot of you guys are asking, at what point did I tell Daniel that I had never exercised before? If I'm remembering correctly, I told him on the second or third date second date i told him on the second date for me personally i always try to get that out as soon as possible i've never actually i don't think i've ever run into a guy who like had an issue with me never having exercised before um but but i feel like there's a stereotype that maybe like a guy doesn't like that or something like that 
So I would just always tell people literally on the second date, maybe not even the first date if I could get it out at like an appropriate time. Um, because if that's an issue for them, great. Let's go ahead and call it quits. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, the lady who did my eyebrows last did me dirty. Like, I just don't even know what happened. Thank the good Lord I did not have her do my eyebrows right before my wedding. I would have cried so hard. She just like, I looked in the mirror afterwards and my eyebrows were just gone. Like, I'm just gonna wait. Luckily, praise the good Lord, they will grow back. So I'm just gonna wait until they're fully grown in and then go to a different lady and um, get my shape back. Moving on to eyeshadow, am I great at eyeshadow? No, am I bad at eyeshadow? Questionable. Um, you're definitely not here for a makeup tutorial, that much I know. All right, babes, this is the finished result. Now, as I mentioned, I did not apply any styler to my hair. So this is how my hair looks if I just shampoo, condition it, put a mask on get out of the shower, brush it straight, and then let it air dry. It kind of just gives me like a puffy, wavy look. Um, I actually really like this look. I know that a lot of you guys don't, um, but I do enjoy it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. It helps me so much. Please, please like it. And be sure to check out my Instagram for more of a day-to-day -day of my life, all right? Until next time, I will see you soon. Bye, guys.